what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here should do something a little different here today uh so i wanted to talk about buffy buffy season five episode the body now this is an episode that i have seen countless times throughout my life i saw it for the very first time when i was growing up first time watching buffy i saw it during a lot of the rerun periods when buffy was airing on fx because i would watch buffy after it aired every morning before school when it would come on in the morning on fx if you remember those days leave it down in the comment section <laughs> good old days uh the body is an episode that just captures that emotion or lack thereof and confusion that you have when you lose someone that means so much to you and as the thumbnail is saying what does the body mean to me so in this episode that aired i think um, 20 years ago at this point I, I believe going on 21 the the move the episode kicks off with buffy previously in the last episode she came home and we saw that she she found joyce lifeless in her house and she's laying on the couch in their living room she's saying mom numerous times and the final thing you hear from her is mommy and then the episode the body kicks off right where we left off it shows us buffy imagining herself saving joyce she is confused as to what to do the absence of sound and joss whedon i believe he wrote this i think he also directed it i might be mistaken there but the the whole aspect and atmosphere that is captured in this episode is speaking volumes to how a lot of us probably have felt when we've experienced this type of this type of heartbreak you are at a loss for words you have no control especially in someone like buffy in a show where most of their problems for buffy anyway have manifested into these monsters you know you have a a mother who tries to control her daughter manifesting into a monster uh cyberbullying or guess catfishing <laughs> also uh with one of the early episodes in season season one manifested into an online monster who then made his way out of a book or something like that I, I i forgot what his name was malik or something or michael uh malcolm and just so many other things that manifest into these monsters to kind of represent the struggles that a lot of teenagers deal with and then now post high school you see have you have buffy in college she's going through all these other things trying to navigate early adulthood and then she has this bombshell dropped on her when her mother in season five develops this brain tumor the surgery appears to have gone well but then of course you end up at the body where you find out that joyce has apparently died unfortunately from complications related to the surgery i think they said she had an aneurysm or something like that and the whole episode because of sarah michelle geller and the time we spend with her just in that home i think it really puts you in the same position as where buffy is you're in that home for so long you're having all these she's probably running around with all these different thoughts in her head all these memories of just life in the home with her mother even though they haven't been there a, a very long time they didn't move to sunnydale but just all these different things that you probably have experienced with this person in that house and now you come home and find them lifeless and you know i've been in this position sadly personally myself i a few years ago came home and found my grandmother in the same position so in a way for me this episode watching it at a young age it honestly prepared me for that moment even though it was still something that i was struggling to process at the time i wasn't alone in that instance but it was just so that was the first thing i thought of when i opened the door and i found my grandmother like that i thought instantly of this episode of buffy she was just lying there on the couch she was lifeless i had no control over bringing my grandmother back all i could think about was buffy in that moment with joyce no one's in the house with her she is just wandering around the absence of emotion on her face is captured so well because she's struggling she doesn't know what to do in that moment i came home and found my grandmother like that as well and it was just a very heartbreaking moment for me uh i didn't know what to do in that moment i didn't know if i should ramble on about how i don't understand life like uh, anya did and how it doesn't make any sense i didn't know if i should contemplate on what clothes are appropriate to wear to certain occasions now post death like willow i didn't know if i should punch my hand through a wall like xander i didn't know if i should just wander around the house and find a place to vomit like buffy did i didn't know if i should imagine a scenario in my head in which i was able to save my grandmother so many different things that i feel like this episode really just speaks to in terms of something you're you'll never be prepared for in life if that if you find yourself in a predicament like that which i hope none of you do but the episode is just so brilliant and from start to finish the the downward spiral 
that we see everyone go through and again the absence of sound really just captures that moment where you're in a position where your life is being forced to continue but it the absence of sound is kind of just highlighting how life around you is continuing but you're stuck in this this one mentality this one void of nothingness and how am i supposed to keep going without this person how am i supposed to navigate life without this person this person got me through a lot of stuff how am i supposed to navigate life it's just so it, it, it's just so fitting and done so wonderfully and i know joss whedon has his controversy right now but that episode is one of the best things he's ever done out of his catalog i would have to say that i think he's gone on record to say that too the episode is so brilliant sarah michelle geller is tremendous in the role and again for me what this means is it's just a reminder of you're not always going to be in control of things in life and for someone again like buffy who has all of these powers your slayer powers are no good here and i think that's what also made it a little bit more heartbreaking for us to watch that and it's also a lot more heartbreaking now as an adult watching it because of all the other things that i've now learned over the years and then leading up to that own moment happening for me with my grandmother it just put things into perspective no matter how much control you tend to usually have you will have moments in your life where you are not in control and you will have to figure out how to live with certain things that you cannot fight you not every problem is going to manifest into something you can fight like how buffy was accustomed to she cannot fight this aneurysm she cannot fight this tumor this is not a demon that's just going to manifest and jump out of your mother's head and you can slay it or something like that it doesn't work that way i think it was just much more heartbreaking in that aspect when you consider that that slayer aspect of buffy her slayer aspect is useless here and her mother is just gone and she has to deal with it just like any other common human i think another thing that highlights is that buffy is indeed just a girl she is special but she still will deal with all the other things that a lot of us will deal with and that i unfortunately dealt with many years ago not too long ago but many years ago i think the body is a great episode let me know what you guys think about the body down in the comment section below what was your favorite moment from the body what did you think about joyce as a mother too if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video